Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this is my Pokemon region. I've been working on it for the past few weeks that I've been gone from YouTube. And I got this idea from a different channel that I was watching a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I hope you enjoy. This is the cities map. If you don't know about Pokemon, they usually have a cities map or something like it. Um, and these cities, all the way from 1 to 17, are based off of real cities in New Zealand. If you couldn't tell by the shape of the map. Um, City 7, Walton City, is the capital city. Um, I'm pretty sure it is in real life, too, or something like that. I don't remember. But, um, this desert and the mountains and everything in this map is based off of a real place. Um, over here in the city area, you can see on City 4, City 5, City 7, etc., there are stars. Those stars represent gyms. This is starter number one, Crablade. This Pokemon usually hides near large bodies of water in tall grass waiting for prey to approach. Even though it always seems hungry, it can go up to one month without anything to eat. 50 HP, it's obviously a grass type. Evolutions are Crablade, Crabom, and Lobster. Its name is based off of its game. Um, it throws bombs at other Pokemon. It shoots tiny projectiles out of its claws that will explode on impact. These bullets will drain almost all of the Pokemon's energy, causing it to faint. 90 HP, and it's grass type, obviously. Lobster, this Pokemon, enjoys launching missiles at other Pokemon. With its four claws and fast speed, it is pretty much unstoppable. 130 HP, and it is a grass and ground type. This is starter number two, Skull Drop. Its skull protects what's inside. This Pokemon is delicate and should not be used in combat until it evolves. 30 HP, water type. Evolutions are Skull Trio and Iskull, or Ice Skull. Skull Trio. This Pokemon should still not be used in fights, however, it has a lot of resilience and can heal quickly. It can also heal people who touch it. Each of its skulls can have a different expression at once, as you can see over here in the picture. 120 HP, and it is a water and ghost type. It was originally supposed to be a fairy type, but then I realized that fairy had been removed from the game, so I swapped it to psychic type, but then I was like, nah, it doesn't really seem like a psychic type. So then I changed it to ghost type. Ice Skull. Its name is based off of Island and Skull. This Pokemon contains a small island inside. It is actually said to home small injured Pokemon inside of itself until they can heal. 170 HP, and it is a water and ghost type. Again, that was supposed to be fairy, but I had to change it. This is starter number three, Volcanior. This Pokemon is blinded by constant smoke pouring out of its mouth. This eye is not completely useless, though. It can be used to tap into other dif other dimensions closely re closely re closely related to this one. 70 HP. It's fire type, obviously, and its evolutions are Volcarnivore and Volcanicops. Volcarnivore. This Pokemon has figured out how to use other dimensions to manipulate this one. Only it and one other Pokemon have ever been observed doing this. You'll see that other Pokemon in the legendaries. Um, it's pretty similar to Volcarnivore. Um, but 110 HP, Fire and Psychic. Volcanicops. This Pokemon is extremely hostile to anything around. Touching it could cause extreme injuries. It is also able to manipulate other um, dimensions, but... I didn't include that in here. Um, 170 HP, Fire and Psychic. The end. That brings us to the end of the Hede region starters. Yeah, that's what it's called, the Hede region. Um, it was originally actually supposed to be based off of Hawaii, but I changed my mind 
after I started seeing too much similarities between um, my region and the Alolan region. So I changed it to New Zealand, which is actually pretty close and pretty similar, too. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.